welcome all of you to St. John's today, and I want to thank this good man to my left, John Gallardi, for his wonderful contributions to St. John's University. John has been a great mentor for me, and he's probably mentored more young men than any other person in the history of the NCAA. Um, John leaves St. John's uh, as, in, as in his retirement as the winningest coach in the history of college football. He has coached more games and has more years of service than anybody else. And on behalf of St. John's, we just want to thank John for choosing to spend his career at this great university. I can't believe anybody leaves anything without having some thoughts one way or the other. I'm sure I'll have some regrets. I've left jobs before, not too many, but like the last real good job I had was at Carroll College where I was the only coach, coached every sport, particularly football and basketball, and we were winning championships and everything. So much so in basketball, believe it or not, we beat Gonzaga, who was the kingpin of the world then, and we knocked him off. And uh, I hated to leave that job. And, uh, and, and I, when I came here, I don't think I didn't oftentimes think, God, why the heck did I ever leave there? But as I tell my kids, I came, I hadn't met their mother yet, and if I had stayed at Carroll, they'd have had a different father. So, <laughs> so, so that's one of the reasons I came. If in fact that I can actually, that I am actually the, you know, the winningest coach in college football. When I think of, when I turn on the TV and see all the great stadiums, the, all the programs, you can flip to 10 different channels and there's a football game everywhere. And you think, God, I'm a part of this whole, small part of this whole business being on college football. It's just hard for me to believe and great, grateful that I could make a living and raise a family in a game. It's just a game, really.